In closing our subject and investigation of andragogy, we will con continue with this comparison of andragogy and pedagogy just to take a few moments and to compare the processes. Uh, re just a moment ago we compared the learner, but let's compare the processes of andragogy and pedagogy. We start out looking at the climate or the learning environment and in, in pedagogy, it is very authority-oriented because it is about the teacher. It is very formal, very competitive, and very judgmental. Uh, I want you to remember being, say, in the 6th, 7th, or 8th grade, maybe in the 10th grade, when you were much younger and you went in, the teacher was in charge. The, the environment was formal. And my gracious, it was competitive. You had to make the grade or be embarrassed, and it was very judgmental, and, and that is simply a pedagogical climate. Andragogy, however, is much more relaxed and much more mutually respectful. You're dealing with adults, and when adults are treated as peers, then you have a much stronger environment of mutual respect, much more relaxed, much less informal. And then it is a collaborative environment. So the, the climate of pedagogy and andragogy are distinctly different. Uh, when we look at the planning in the pedagogy model, the planning is done by the teacher with little input from the learner. In andragogy, you have collaborative planning. You have collaboration between the teacher and the learner in order to determine what uh, should be studied. And the teacher becomes a facilitator rather than the, the great sage on the stage. In pedagogy, we want to look at the diagnosis of need and we want to examine it for andragogy. In pedagogy, the teacher determines what is to be learned and the teacher determines the level of learning that must occur. In other words, the teacher sets the level of mastery. In andragogy, need is diagnosed by mutual assessment and the teacher and the learner collaborate to determine what level of mastery is required. In pedagogy, the setting of objectives is done by the teacher again. And in andragogy, the, the teacher and the learner set uh, objectives by mutual negotiation. You see the, the trend developing here. Pedagogy is very much about the teacher. Andragogy is very much about the self-directed, independent learner who is motivated to learn. The designing of lesson plans in pedagogy, the, the teacher just sets the content by the subject, and the sequence is determined by the subject. In other words, the teacher says, this is what we're going to study, and the subject dictates uh, the sequence that is going to be utilized. In andragogy, you have such things as learning projects, problem solving is key, and it's sequenced by readiness to learn. In other words, what fits real life, how might we, how might we uh, solve a real life problem, and how then would it be structured? It is about involving the learner in the process of designing the learner uh, learning plans. Uh, learning activities differ substantially in pedagogy. Pra pedagogy is about transmittal of information. It may be about assigned readings, and it's the traditional didactic approach. Uh, in andragogy, we see inquiry projects, independent study, experimental techniques. Now, in pedagogy, evaluation is done by the teacher and uh, it's norm referenced and it generally has grades. Uh, I, I'm amazed sometimes as you get into higher learning that, that people just freak out because they made a 92 versus a 93. And well that comes from that, that being ingrained with the pedagogical mindset, the teacher's in charge, you're going to get a grade, and the norm reference means that you are judged against your peers. And, and the thing to do there if you want to succeed is just get with a slow herd. That way you can outrun them. Andragogy is the evaluation is done by the learner, and it's generally, uh, evaluation can be done by collected evidence validated by peers. It's about the learner and about the peers validating that the, the subject matter has been, been learned. And, and andragogy is criterion reference. Now, let's go back just a minute and, and talk about this norm reference. Norm reference means that you're judged against the group, Criterion reference means that it is judged against a criterion. I mean, you could be with a very slow group who can't do anything and really look good. But in criterion reference, you may not meet what's expected as a level of achievement. 
Adults are very much about meeting the expectations of what it takes to be successful. And that's not norm referenced. That is criterion referenced. So we've seen a lot of difference in pedagogy and andragogy. Basically, pedagogy is about the teacher, about the dependent learner. Andragogy is about the learner taking oversight of the learning. And the learning, learner being motivated and independent and self-directed. And certainly pedagogy is norm referenced and andragogy is criterion referenced. Well, again, I want to thank you very much for your support. I'm going to pull one of those old Trekky things this time. Live long and prosper. That's from Star Trek, the old generation. And if you do meet a Vulcan who says to you, live long and prosper, remember the correct response is peace and long life. You have a good day.